2023, the best year of my life. Without any competition, no competitors, not even close. 2023 was the best year of my life. There were a lot of ups and downs, but mostly ups. We had a lot of milestones. There was a lot of start of great beginnings. <sighs> what a year, dude. Let's start off at the beginning of the year. Let's just hit all the key points. Let's rewind to March 27th, 2023. That was the day that I had bought the Porsche, which has been an amazing part of my content. It's been just, it's been great, dude, which is funny because I, Kayla was going to her bachelorette trip, right? She was uh, up in like Georgia or the Panhandle of Florida and she was gone for the weekend. So what did I do? I was like, this is a perfect time to buy a new car because I just broke my BMW. So I was like, let's just buy a new car. So she came home and I had a Porsche. I have to say something. I haven't said anything about this for the entire year, but I've been wanting to. Bro, as soon as I bought something nice for myself, which by the way, to use Porsche, dude, this, this car, is old it's not brand new right i just got crap from everybody dms comments everything oh daddy's money daddy's money this was actually my dad's response to that when i told him hey dad i just got called a trust fund baby oh, so yeah. what do you have to say about that coming home from a long day of work what do you got to say about that uh i wish i could trust my funds with you because <laughs> i don't have any to trust Hey, who knows? Maybe in 2024, I'll be buying a different Porsche. Maybe a GT3 RS. Yeah, maybe. Hit the fast forward button a few months later to April 28th, 2023. The second happiest day of my life right behind the Porsche. I got married. I got married. I lost my balls, put a ring on my finger, got married to my high school sweetheart. Actually, my middle school sweetheart. She didn't like me in high school or middle school, but I was obsessed with her. That's a win in my book. It really is. The ceremony was amazing, dude. Uh, everything went perfect. The only thing that could have probably gone a little bit better during the wedding is I did forget to walk my mom down the aisle. I'd walked my grandparents and everybody down, and then I turned around, and I'm standing there, and I look, and my mom's waving at me at the other end, so I had to go get her and bring her back. That was a little embarrassing. It was my first wedding, though. It was my first wedding. That's my only excuse. It's my last wedding, but that was my first wedding. And then my brother had a great best man speech. I will, I'll never forget this part of the speech. He goes, Stephen said, if I do well with this first man speech that, you know, I could be his best man in his next wedding as well. And I honestly cried tears. I was laughing so hard. Great times, great day, the best day of my life. I'm a married man. Don't give up on those girls that you're chasing because hey, some of them are dumb enough to actually get with you. That's the moral of the story here. I didn't get lucky, I was just annoying. Fast forwarding two months. June something 2023. I, Slick Stevie, hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube. And when I say this is one of the most happy moments of my life, most proudest moments of my life, and I, I got a quick shout out to my mom. She's my number one supporter, bro. She literally refreshes my stuff all the time to see where I'm. And dude, she called me literally before I could even like do anything, post anything, say anything. She called me and she, she said congratulations to me and she was super happy for me, bro. My mom is my number one supporter, even though she probably doesn't even agree with 99.9% .9 of the stuff I post. She is my number one supporter. I love her to death. Love you, mom. But yeah, we got a little crazy through a little party. We had a million subscribers this year. I've been doing YouTube for three years, 2019. I started YouTube. I made my account in 2019. I think it was 2019. That's insane. And I hit 100K subscribers just a year before that. Not even. This was a huge year for growth. This was a huge year to find out my content and style. And dude, nothing compares to that feeling. Nothing compares to that feeling, bro. So quick little shout out to you guys, man. I, I would not be where I'm at in life without you guys. And I just want to thank you guys again for everything I have. Whether you're, you're leaving shitty comments on my videos, whether you actually enjoy my stuff, I appreciate all you guys. Fast forwarding backwards because I missed something. I I'm a really terrible storyteller. I'm working on it. April 15th, 13 days before the wedding. Yes, I did just get your wedding gift. Oh, beautiful. All right, we're homeowners. Beautiful. We're homeowners. I love it so much. Yeah? Thank you for working so hard. I love you so much. Does that turn you on? It does turn me on. Me and Kayla, you know, we're like, man, we're getting married. We should probably buy a house. So what did we do? We went and bought a house. Adult shit right? We bought the house in April. We weren't even able to move into the house until September 13th. Okay. We were staying in an apartment. Our lease ran up in July. So we literally were homeless for a few days. I, I'm sure you guys remember that. And then we ended up finding some, you know, roommates that were nice enough to let us stay at their house for two months straight. Dude, that was interesting. That was fun. I love you guys. For, thank you, Jordan, Kara. Thank you guys for letting me stay at your house. Appreciate it. Fuck you, Jordan.
we finally moved into our house dude and it is crazy that we bought we bought this house from i mean social media money which is insane and everybody still thinks i'm crazy for what i'm doing and you know it is what it is but i we're blessed we're super excited to have this house we're already looking at potentially renting it getting something else down the road to start my real estate and you know endeavors whatever you want to call it dude really humbling moment exciting moment that was huge that was huge getting married buying a car buying a house all within a four or five month span not even sorry i did all of that within the same month yeah that hurt the bank account a lot also quick side note women are very expensive just gonna throw that out there gonna throw that out there and then you know we ended 2023 with me and kayla are going on our honeymoon finally we were just so busy when we actually got married we bought the house every it was just a catastrophe dude so we were finally going on our honeymoon in less than a month we're going to hawaii some special things are going to happen in hawaii if you know what i mean some special things are going to happen in hawaii this is not a trailer this is not a teaser this is a promise okay also i forgot i bought a truck this year and then destroyed it it was good for me it was good for me i got all of my anger out it was good for me. another huge accomplishment that i had forgotten about is kayla got employee of the month every single month this year every single month we also made a few new friends this year me and kayla had our differences this year mostly about me hoarding cars she doesn't really like that also me and kayla started a podcast in 2023 with a lot of interesting topics and conversations that will make great content I pissed Kayla off quite a bit in 2023. What the f are you doing? I'm washing your car. 2024 is going to be a fun one.